wouldn't have the runners and riders at Newbury, man. Good man. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, sir. Morning, sir. A miserable crew of ne'er-do-wells and nincompoops. Boyer. Sir? You're in the sixth form now, you're not? Uh, yes, sir. And you're still repeating your matriculation maths. Is this the eighth time, Boyer? No, sir, the third. Oh, the third. Uh, well, tell me, Boyer, do you plan to haunt my junior classes until you're a middle-aged man? Oh, no, sir. I'm sure I'll get it this time, sir. I can feel it in my bones. And bone is what you have there in that skull of yours, I know. <laughs> Silence. Sit. Some of you may be laboring under delusions. Some of you may be listening to rumors. Some of you have been told that old Cordwain has been ill in hospital, that he is not what he was wont to be. Some of you may have thought that you're in for a soft time, an easy life. Nothing of the kind. Old Cornwaller has been in in hospital, but now he is back and eager for the fray. The doctors in the hospital had the effrontery to tell me to take it easy. I told them either you have done your job properly or you have not. If you have, then I am cured, but I am not going to take it easy. I have never taken it easy. I don't know how to take it easy, do I, Dobson? No, sir. Good. Uh, thank you for your cards, by the way. And the flowers, much appreciated. But I regret that they did not soften my wrath when I read through your practice exam papers. Pish, drivel, waffle, and balderdash. With very few exceptions. Nethercott, 68, should have been 98. Fairly good is not good enough. Well, come on, come and take it. Stanley, floundering, Featherstone Hall. Spelt his name right at the top of the paper. Didn't get my chance right after that. Chatterjee, scraped a pass. Boyer. Sir? You're going to pass this year, are you? I uh, hope so, sir. Hope so, Boyer. The winner's in the unsaddening enclosure and you're still running. Sorry, sir. This is the most arrant, tossed, gibberish and nonsense I have ever read in my life. Sorry, sir. You're sorry, I'm sorry. This is mere blethering and bunker boy. Dithering, mind eroding drivel. I have never... Let's get someone, Dobby. I think he might be dead. Sit down and get on with your work.
want a word with you. Um, come over and see me, will you? Give me ten minutes. Hmm? Yes, of course. <laughs> no, 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 no. Barnaby, definitely. Then why is Harry's holding PJ for a concert? Probably telling him to pull his socks up. Tend to spend less time with his babies and more time with us poor chaps. No, you have to be past it before they give you a house job here. Half a crown to a sixpence, it's going to be Barnaby. Well, he'll give us a nice quiet time. Well, I'll take you at those odds. I'm afraid you can't afford to go any further in debt, Dobby. You're in hock to me for uh, half your worldly goods already. Well, be fair. I couldn't possibly permit it. Your credit, sir, has expired. All right, then. Um, my sissy current to your half crown. In a bathing suit? Well, of course, in a bathing suit. Well, uh, let's see the goods, then. Oh, very tempting, very... T Get away from here, you filthy fellows. Wait till you reach the age of maturity. Oh, come on, boyer, please. Be off with you. Get out of it. Leave us to enjoy our wicked pleasures. <laughs> yes, she's not half bad, is she? Just a quick squint, boyer. Out, out, all of you. Look, I like that, boy. This is junior muckers, not senior. It's you who's got no business here. Ah, oh, how the young rise up to challenges. Curtis, I'm a placid fellow, but I'm a devil when I'm roused. Just do your imitation of a sweet little chap. Dobbin and I like to see sweet, happy faces. We're just passing through, Curtis, just passing through, revisiting the scenes of our misspent youth. Of course, if we did happen to see any cheeky young toads who need a beating... Only the prefects can beat. You're not a prefect yet, boyer. Oh, well, we'll see about that. Missed. He's right, of course. And will I ever be one, I ask myself? Huh. Boyer. Huh? Oh, yes, well, uh, I'll accept that. She'll look very fine in my collection. Sissy Curran, eh? What a beauty. I'm curious to think she's young Winterbourne's mater. She's not. Oh, don't tell me you didn't know. You're pulling my leg. I'm not! Why isn't she called Sissy Winterbourne, then? Oh, well, you are slow. Sissy Curran's her stage name. Her maiden name, I dare say. If she ever was a maiden, eh? <laughs> oh, simmer down, Dobby. There he is. Odd-looking cove, isn't he? Well, so would you be if you had a mate like his, I dare say. Half a Bamfield dreaming about her. 